How's everybody doing? Welcome to the Big Fact Show. This is Mark Walter Ward. On this episode, we're going to be hearing from Laz discussing his dispute with Conway and Griselda Records. This is nothing beyond a business dispute. You know, there is an outstanding this project. Well, there's a this is back and forth. I mean, Laz will explain it, but right now on Spotify, there is a little, a nice little this EP directed at them called Fucked and Buff, but you know, that's just hip hop, the competition. So no further ado, let's let Laz explain the situation to you. And thank you for listening to the Big Facts Show. Make sure to subscribe wherever you get your podcasts. Conway was in my DM talking about, you know, he, I know he the truth. That's why we paid him and shit. Brother, let me not kid you. I ain't know who the fuck none of y'all niggas was. It was my fans that kept inboxing me. Yo, you need to get in a joint with Conway and Westside gunning them niggas. Them niggas is nice. They from Buffalo. Then I went and said, let me, let me see who these niggas is. And when I heard niggas, I was like, yeah, these niggas spit that real New York shit. I like that. And I'm happy to see that somebody from New York and somebody that spit this hardcore gangster shit that I spit is getting some lanes and opportunities. That's very inspiring. You understand what I'm saying? But make no mistake about it, nigga. I never heard no mixtape, no album. Album, no nothing from none of y'all niggas. None of y'all niggas. DJ Diggs sent me some West Side Gun. He said, yo, throw a verse on that. I'm like, who's West Side Gun? You understand what I'm saying? So, like I said, my nigga, none of y'all niggas was known or heard of by me. You understand what I'm saying? Niggas kept hollering at me. Motherfuckers, fans, and certain DJs and producers was hitting me up like, yo, you should get a joint in with them niggas. I'm like, it is what it is. I'm not hitting niggas up, asking niggas, yo, let's get on the joint. Now, I mean, I'm not doing none of that. You understand what I'm saying? When my money is right, I holler at niggas and throw niggas some bones. So, the way me and my niggas bang, my nigga, like, especially me and my nigga OP Hangman, is my money is his money, his money is my money. If I get $10,000 that I could toss the promo, he ain't got to have a dime. I'm going to toss that 10000 on both of our promo. And it's the same shit with him. If he get money in his hands, he going to holler at me like, son, you want to bang out on some shit? I got some extra bones. And I'm like, let's go. So my son happened to hit me up. Yo, my nigga, I got a, I got a few extra racks. Let's, let's do some promo shit. I'm like, I right, bet. Who you want to fuck with? Know what I mean? Nigga like, y'all don't know, man. I, I ain't really feeling none of these niggas. Like, who you want to fuck with? I'm like... I don't, my nigga, I don't, I'm not even paying attention to what's going on in the game right now. We already did shit with big, huge niggas like motherfucking Jim Jones and Yayo and Kiss and legend niggas who got millions and millions of views online already on their work. You understand what I'm saying? So I said, fuck it, let's go with somebody underground, like niggas that's not mean coming up. Let's go with a, let's invest in a nigga coming up. Cause this shit is like an event, it's stock investments, my nigga. You do the right song and right video with a motherfucker, you might blow through the fucking roof and then you get your millions. You understand what I'm saying? So, I mean, this, this shit is chess, not fucking checkers. You see how fast a checker game goes? You see how slow most chess games take? You understand what I'm saying? My nigga's chess, not fucking checkers. So, I said, yo, you know what? We should fuck with this Conway nigga that everybody in my inbox saying I should do a song with. Let's 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 see what this nigga talking about. You know what I'm saying? My nigga OP, hey man, he never even had heard of Conway. He was like, who? I'm like, some nigga from Buffalo, son, nigga got shot in his face, yo, nigga spit crazy. Know what I mean? Son went and researched, like, yo, if you want to go with that nigga, we go with that nigga. I said, message that nigga. Son hollered at the nigga. We, 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 we made him date for the business, nigga. We drove up to Buff. Drove up to Buffalo. Shit freezing. Nobody ain't trying to take their regular car. We got a rental. Hopped in the Audi. Flew up there. We gets there. The hotel mad garbage. We pay for the most expensive suite. Shit garbage. You understand what I'm saying? No fuel, no nothing. We like, it is what it is, my nigga. We tell this nigga, yo, we here, come through. Nigga shows up five hours late. We wanted to get light. We wanted to catch the lighting so that shit would look good on camera. Nigga shows up five hours later than the time he was supposed to come. It's nighttime. Now we got bullshit lighting. It is what it is. We still get it in. It is what it is. Nigga had that nigga in there for like 10 minutes, nigga. Yo, spit that shit. We out, nigga. We bounce. Put the shit up. Nigga puts it on his Instagram. We had to lean on a nigga to put the shit on his Instagram. Nigga puts the shit up on his Instagram. Now, this is at the putting racks in son's hand. 
for, for 10 minutes of his time. Niggas put this shit on Instagram. Nigga push the shit up all dry. Monster Bars Volume 4 on their page. Nigga, you wasn't dry like that when you was posting motherfucking, um, uh, 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 what's that nigga name? Um, terminologies and all of that. You was, yo, twin, this and that, this and that, blowing mad beef. You understand what I'm saying? Cause niggas is connected to Static Selector and this and that. You was blowing white beef, nigga. Making sure that white beef was very satisfied with whatever money you got to do that, nigga. Cut it out. You understand what I'm saying? But niggas like me and you, niggas that come from the same hoods that you come from, been through the same shit, I get the dry ass post. Yo, it was on their page. So then we knew it was some hate, slight hate, hate. We held our head. Month or so later, a couple of months later, my son hit me, yo, I heard that nigga spit that verse on some other shit. So I'm like, what? I'm like, nah. He like, yo, I'm telling you, son, nigga spit that verse. I'm like, damn, that's lame. Like, you know what I'm saying? I'm not really that mad because we pay more for a visual performance than an audio performance. And I mean, it's not really a song. It's a live freestyle. So chill. He like, yo, my man, like, yo, I don't really, I don't care, though. So we pay that nigga racks. You can't spit one exclusive 16, 116 that's just for us. I'm like, yo, you right, son. You're totally right. You understand what I'm saying? But let's not jump out the window. So months later again, you know, I go to the nigga page and check because there's an active link that I share with niggas. Yo, check this new nigga. He mad crazy. We just did some new shit with the nigga. Bam. You feel me? I go to the nigga page to find a link. That shit gone. I'm like, nah, I know this nigga ain't go scroll down his page eight months and delete my shit. So I see your son is fucking paid. This shit is gone. My son like, nah, so you bugging out. Let me check. So my man said, he like, yo, I'm about, to I'm about to message this nigga and tell this nigga, like, he got to put that back up. What's really good? So nigga messaged the nigga, yo, son. Now, I mean, come on, my bro. I gave you racks, my nigga. You gave me a reused verse. I ain't say shit. Now you deleting my shit off your page. What am I paying you for then, my nigga? So the nigga like, yo, you bugging, my nigga. You can't tell me what to put on my page and what not to take off my page. I always delete shit off, your, off my page. You always delete shit off your page, but do you delete shit that you got paid racks to put on your page? Like, you know what I'm saying? Nigga, I ain't got to spell it out for you, yo. Don't ever delete that until the world ends. I don't have to say that. I don't have to say, yo, son, make sure that verse is exclusive. I don't have to, I don't have to specify what I actually, I guess I do. And this is why niggas use contracts. But my nigga, common sense, I'm paying you for something. Nigga, I don't want nothing used and I don't want nothing deleted and going and act like it didn't happen. So what the fuck you thought, my nigga? So we tell son, yo, my nigga, we need that back up there ASAP Rocky. You feel me? The nigga chose to be prideful and say, fuck that. These niggas ain't telling me what to post on my page. And the nigga just deaded us, curved us and said, fuck them niggas. Now, anybody who knows St. Laz knows that I'm never looking for problems, but I love to finish fucking problems. So what the fuck do you think was going to happen from that, nigga? From you taking money from niggas, giving us an old verse, deleting the shit off your page, then when we give you a chance to put the shit back up, you don't even put the shit back up. What did you think was going to happen, my nigga? Why would you put yourself in a predicament like that? Why would you line yourself up for niggas to diss you like that? You ain't know I had videos with major niggas. You ain't know that I was in the books on a lot of shit. You ain't know that. You just looked at my Instagram followers, right? Big fucking mistake, my nigga. I know a lot of millionaires with a few followers. You understand know what I'm saying? Because they don't want niggas to know what the fuck they doing. So... Your dumb, stupid ass, who I thought was my age. Y'all niggas keep talking about these niggas is young. Y'all niggas look old as fuck. I thought y'all niggas was my age. So I, di I didn't think I would have to explain this shit to these niggas. You understand what I'm saying? So, once again, what the fuck did niggas think was going to happen? We just going to hold that down, nigga? I look like Boo Boo the motherfucking fool. Now I mean, I'm a fucking clown. You see a big pair of 17 inch clown shoes on my feet, nigga? What the fuck you think? I'm just going to eat that nigga? Nah, nigga. Either you run shit or you eat shit in this business, my nigga. Real talk. And I be sparing a lot of these niggas because I could kill all of these niggas on the mic. But I try to do things diplomatically. But diplomacy don't work in this motherfucker. Being a nice guy don't work. Showing love don't work, my nigga. Niggas respect when you chop fucking heads off. So that's what we doing now. We chopping fucking heads off, nigga. And nah, Westside Gun ain't have nothing to do with that. Benny, none of them. I chose to attack them. My nigga Hangman was like, son, you should leave them niggas out of it. I said, my bro, I'm hitting everybody. 
that's that nigga family, peoples and brothers and things. Mine's well. I'm not gonna have beef and totally disrespect one nigga and then see his brother in the streets and be like, what up? I don't got nothing to do with you. It don't work that way. If a nigga disrespect my man like that and don't mention my name, even if he show love to my name, when I see you in the streets, it's gonna be a problem for disrespecting my man like that. Or on the mic or wherever we handling the problem. You understand what I'm saying? So the bottom fucking line is, my nigga, for all y'all Griselda groupies out there that keep leaving comments, yo, niggas is mad because niggas deleted. My nigga, this shit about money, power, and respect, my nigga. You feel me? That nigga blow through the roof tomorrow, I got a video on his page with me spitting my talents out to the world. You clipping that shit, nigga, as you rising up the chain of success, you trying to clip my little piece of your history out? No way, nigga. We going to bang forever. And I'm going to make sure that I get the promo that I was supposed to get from being on your page in another motherfucking way. You ever heard that expression? We could do it the easy way or we could do it the hard way. We tried the easy way, my nigga. You chose the hard way, Conway. That shit rhyme. You chose the hard way, Conway. I'm gonna say that, nigga. But anyway, LA Zeno, nigga. Brownsville, Brooklyn, Dykeman Projects. You understand what I'm saying? I'm all over the city, everywhere, all over by myself. I don't run around with a bunch of niggas by myself, my nigga. West Side Gun said, yo, who still pays for collabs? My nigga, that's some idiotic shit. This is a business, my nigga. If you get money, who gives a fuck about spreading that shit around? You understand what I'm saying? In America, you get what you pay for, my nigga. You motherfucking right I pay for collabs, nigga. If I could pay Cardi B for a verse and a video feature right now, I motherfucking surely would. Am I the biggest fan of Cardi B? Do I drive around listening to her music and shit? Not at all. Because I don't listen to nobody but my own shit and niggas who I fuck with. You understand what I'm saying? But on some business shit, if I came up on some guap to do a song and video with Cardi B, you motherfucking right I'm going to do it, nigga. And I'm going to pay her with a smile on my motherfucking face and be happy that she takes my money. You understand what I'm saying? Because this is a business, nigga. And seeing is believing. And to get the shit that you want seen, sometimes you got to pay for it, my nigga. So West Side Gun said... Yo, who still pays for collabs? I still pay for collabs and everybody the fuck else, my nigga. If Jay-Z wants a feature from some European motherfucker that you never heard of, you think he's getting that shit for free just because he's Jay-Z? Hell no, nigga. He's paying for that shit, nigga. Fuck you think this is. This is real life, nigga. And this is why y'all niggas don't got songs on radios. And don't try to say you don't want songs on radio, West Side Gun. Because everybody wants a song on the radio. And you ain't got to make a commercial corny song to be on the radio. You can make some hard shit and put it on the radio. You know why? Because payola is now legal, my nigga. And you can pay these radio stations legally to pay your shit the same way you buy advertisement space. So that's not an excuse. What you're doing is you spending money on dumb shit instead of spending money where the brick is at. You're not trying to get the whole brick. But I guess he was trying to get the whole clip because Laz unloaded with this diss track. Check out Sent by the Devil. It's on the Fucked in the Buff project available now on Spotify. You know these niggas kill me, son. Niggas get they little 15 minutes of fame. Niggas get holly and act like they some fucking body. Nigga, we pulled up to your town, put money in your fucking hand. You reusing verses and shit. We held our head with that, nigga. And now you fucking deleting posts like we some type of lame nobody, niggas. Nigga, I fucking run New York, nigga. My name last, nigga, Brooklyn. Yeah, I'm fresh out the pen. Shoot you in your face again, fucking bum. I will come through your hood like star screen, buffalo bar. Head brother, fake ass ghost, erase my post. I'll erase your head. Tell M it's against the dead from a gun. Conway, a cheap ass store. Paul Rosenberg, we at war. Your boss got attacked. Y'all niggas ain't cracked. MGK's a fag, sign last. Shit, y'all learn the day. My tech now burn your face away. It ain't gotta stay crooked. Nigga, this Brooklyn. Fuck around.
like a dick Your principle is all You tripping and you wrong I paid you for bars You gave me old bars Recycling verses like I'm some nerd bitch Now I'ma pop and buff your cocksuckers Word up, man Niggas ain't dealing with equality, Lord Niggas 10% Ass niggas, man, you crazy, man? Don't play with niggas, man. I'm in the motherfucking hood, nigga. With mouths to feed, nigga. Don't block me, nigga. Don't do nothing that could possibly block me, nigga. That's real fast. It's gonna be a fucking war, nigga. Fuck you think, niggas rapping for fun? Nah, nigga, we trying to get it the same way you trying to get it, nigga. Fuck what you talking about, nigga. Niggas better get their fucking morals and ethics straight in this fucking rap game, nigga. There's a lot of niggas of who heads I could've tore the fuck off, nigga. Tired of mercy, no more mercy. Potter's Field, nigga. LAC Hangman, the band man. Fuck y'all niggas. Now act like y'all ain't hear this shit. Now you know who we are.